Good evening. It's another beautiful weekend and it feels so good to once again be on your screens. This is the set sense. My name is Nadu Olenu. And as usual, we have the beautiful ladies in town. I mean, evergreen, sparkling, intelligence, kakra, beauty, kakra, everything, kakra, kakra. So let me just say hello to our ladies. Hello, Rosalind. Hello. How was your week? <laughs> How was your week? Tell me something. It's not bad at all. Um, you know, we, we're working, we're getting the cash, you mm. know, and the some bag. And some stage drama uh, and all yeah, that I heard yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. work. Great mm. work. And let me come to Movi before our guest. Movi! Hey, Once again on the sit How you doing? Sets. Two times. Eh? Two, two times. times. Yeah. Two times. <laughs> I'm looking forward to coming Wait, again. Oh my God, I want to... Third time is the long time. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. We're going to sit. Just seal the we're going to sit and think about it. Oh, yeah, please do. And add some zeros to you know the, the, yeah the thinking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. It's very important. In pounds, we, we though. Are, we are in important. for a real show today. In pounds. Okay, so let's now say hello to our guest Diana Hopse. Woo! Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. How has your week been too? Busy, you know. What have Ghana Music Awards, mm. and then I released a song for the Mother's Day. Wow. And so, yeah, I was quite busy. Yeah, I heard that but song. I love it. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. I must say. Beautiful mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. I'm what? tempted to sing it, but I shut up. <laughs> we'll do that before you go. <laughs> we'll do that before you go. Well, in case you just tuned in, this is The Sixth Sense, and today we're going to look at alcoholism among the youth. Very, very disturbing. Is it becoming a norm? What is happening? Why are youth taken to alcoholism? Them. Do they know it can be of negative effect to their, their lives? What is the future looking like? We are also going to look at marital rape. I'm yours, you are mine. Why? We'll get into that. Dating your best friend's ex. And I don't know, I can't wait to hear Rosalind's view on this one, oh, actually. Mine, rather. But do we go around or let's take a break and then when I think we, we should come take back, a let's break. take a break. Yes, and when we come back, we do have more for you, so do stay with us. here and it's all about the Sith says of course I'm not doing this alone my beautiful ladies are here now is here of course uh, our very own Moby the motivator <laughs> and the <Movie>. beautiful <laughs> Diana Hobson today you. we are definitely talking about interesting conversations interesting topics and alcoholism that's the first topic we are going to talk about the increment in the youth is quite worrying and the question is why I quite remember some time ago even some celebrities were banned from advertising in order to prevent uh, these youth from being influenced into taking alcohol however it hasn't stopped them i mean right now is even more and so the question is why what is going on where are we going wrong why are the youth so much in love with alcohol let me start off with our very own diana first and uh, what do you think charity begins at home mm. What are our children seeing? Um, it's true that things have been difficult with COVID and all that. Does it mean the lockdown um, caused people to start drinking more mm. or what? Because if we are talking about our youth, mm. then it's just the new generation and um, maybe from the teenage to early 20s mm. thereabout. Mm. Because that has not been the real case here. I mean, Below 18, you don't even have to be seen in some of these pubs and clubs. But it looks like um, now it is becoming something. Is it because of the depression that came? That, I'm trying to find out why mm -hmm. it will happen. Mm. Or um, what excuse do we have to give for our children? Because I don't want to just blame the children. Because we parents should first take care of them. The institutions are there to guide them. We need to find out what has changed. And then if we deal with that, then we can have solutions to what is going on. Mm. Mm. You know, when we look at, the, you know, some of these even clubs that are springing up almost mm. everywhere, we see some of these pubs, these clubs springing up. I mean, 
look at uh, it used to be probably like Osu, mm. but now we have East Legon, so many pubs, clubs in uh, areas like Achimota, everywhere. Where when you turn your head, you see pubs, or mm. it's quite easy and very accessible for them now. Do they even ask for the ID cards when they are going to purchase it? That is you the know, question. and um, right now, I, I, I think as of now, let me put it like that in Ghana. A lot of people don't have access to cards, mm -hmm. uh, the Ghana card. Some have, but others don't. And the, with the Ghana card, I don't know if your your age is registered on there. Mm -hmm. If you you can help me there, uh, probably your age is on there. Because when mm -hmm. you go abroad to purchase a drink, you are supposed to provide your ID card. And for students, every student has mm -hmm. an ID card. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, here in Ghana, it doesn't work like that. And I don't know if that is one of the reasons why okay. there's so much, uh, you know, influence in these young people engaging themselves in alcohol Molly well uh, first off you said you were comparing to the West um, our systems are not like the West mm. unfortunately uh, the laws don't work and I love what you said by you know um, charity begins at home um, but I also think that leaders are the ones who instill you know good discipline. manners and discipline and stuff in in us if it's trickling from the top there is no order at the top we are all going to be affected by it. And I, I love what you mentioned about, you know, the West having ID cards and stuff like that. But here in Ghana, a grown up will send a five year old to go and buy a bottle of beer. Wasuma a friend and consoir, Obekade in Boise, when you're on Sars, you're home, my small decotok, a crow, mama. You know? And so it is so accessible. Like kids can go and buy a drink and lie that, oh, it was Uncle yeah. Isumi Sinosa mm. awesome member too. So it's from the top, me if you ask me. Um, the ID cards are a great way, but in Ghana, everything is so lax. Like, you know, everything is out of order. Like we don't even, ev even us the citizens don't follow the rules. Mm -hmm. You know, you send a five year old to go and buy a bottle of schnapps and they sell it to her. So it's normal for a child to go and buy that. So these kids use their mother's names to buy alcohol to drink you know i don't know whether you guys heard about this guy who downed a whole bottle of hennessy and died on the spot uh. in it, africa it happened right here in ghana oh. and yeah really it happened right How here in ghana he? um oh young guys hanging out you know oh at the club God. and it was a truth or dare kind of game mm. and i'm thinking what what came off that mm. nothing happened mm. the place didn't get shut down in London, they will close that pub down mm -hmm. to investigate mm -hmm. what really Doesn't happened. Doesn't mean nobody reported I the parents no of the child. Idea. You know, but, yeah. because if someone, I mean, wants someone to be responsible, they could have done that. Well, well I think the police are doing a great job. Mm. Kudos to them. Mm. Dan Parry can now come to your house if you report something. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, I've got to fake something for him to come into my house. But no, they're doing a great job. Mm. But I think it's up to us citizens as well to follow the rules and, right. and teach our children that if you're not 18, you can't be drinking, mm -hmm. you know? But me personally, even if you, your kids want to drink, I would rather they start it at home so that you coach them on how to consume it and not irresponsibly, because when they get that free space and they go out, their friends are influencing them, they are all down in shots of tequila and stuff like that. But if you start them off when they're 18, mm -hmm. you say, just a little glass of wine is fine, you know? Slowly, they would not be so, you know what I mean? Yeah. Curious to yeah. go and drink champagne and, mm. you know, mix it with all kinds of concoctions. And they're not just doing that. They're mm. mixing it with drugs, which is yeah, even more dangerous. Yeah, that's more dangerous, yeah. you know. Now you want to give a take? Um, alcoholism among the youth. Um, I think that parents, relatives, guardians are partly to be blamed in all this. Uh, guess what? I was about... Three days ago, I was having interaction with kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's, let me say, between 10 and 11. A young man was advising them on alcohol. So I, I told him that, you just find out. I think that these kids, I wouldn't be surprised if any of them have tasted alcohol before. And the guy was like, oh, no. Then I said, don't, don't worry, just try. How many of you have tasted alcohol before? And then about... Wow. About eight of them raised their hands up and I said, I told you. Then he went on, how? Who gave you? He said, okay, so grandma was drinking. I 
I told her I wanted some to drink and then she gave me, but when I tasted it, it was bitter. Mm -hmm. So I didn't taste it again. Now another person said, I thought it was apple juice, you know? So parents, some parents I should say, allow their kids mm -hmm. or oversight. Sometimes you drink right in front of the children. They are learning a lot from you. So as you sit there and you drink, they think it's a good thing. And that is why one person is saying that, I think it's apple juice, so I drank it. You can also blame uh, peer pressure. Friends are doing it. Here in Ghana, I don't know about elsewhere, but nowadays, Friday is the thing. Every Friday, joints are filled up. A mm. lot of guys and the ladies as well. It's like... It, like, not becoming a norm. I think it, it's now a norm. Every Friday, let's sit somewhere, let's enjoy, let's drink. And like Movi said, if people are doing it responsibly, fine. But the thing is, we are not even um, looking or focusing on our children. What are you doing out there? The sort of friends you are mingling with, and that is why I mentioned peer pressure. Those days you can say that parents have issues or grown-ups have issues and they want to forget about it. I have this issue, I want to forget about it. Then I'll drink alcohol and sleep and thinking that when I get up, I'll forget about everything. But the youth, what are you thinking about? Mm. Mm. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Diana, you want to they are giving you everything. So then... what, what exactly is the problem? Right. Now, it is fearful because research has proven that if you start drinking before 15, by age 15, if one is introduced to alcohol, that person may be prone to be an alcoholic by the time the person is in their 20s. And so if we don't do anything about this issue now, mm. then the next generation will have a problem. 10 to 11 mm. years. Now, what we see around and what our mind tells us about something mm. contributes a lot. If the child growing up sees the parents taking it all the time, mm -hmm. when the Oh, I mean, right no, in front of them. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. that they will yeah. <laughs> So then you are telling the child that oh, anytime, anytime you want, you want to, to fight uh, or you know, something. Right. Some people take it for, you know, mm. that reason. I mean, so how you teach the child about why you are taking alcohol or when the child observes the, the moments you take it, they, 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 they will know whether they would want to take it for good or not. So it is important that parents do something about alcohol now. Yeah, you know, you know, one thing I've come to realize is as parents, we always talk about, you know, having conversations with your children mm. with regards to sex. But we hardly talk about the fact that we need to have conversations with our children uh, with regards to drugs, with regards to alcohol, with regards to friends. Mm. You know, we ignore this aspect. Mm. And this is very, very important because uh, I think two days ago I was having a conversation with someone and um, the person was saying the new trend is helium in a balloon. So the person said, oh, <laughs> when they go for a party, the balloon. And I said, what balloon? And he said, and balloon. And I said, used to decorate what, what kind of balloon are you talking about? Because mm. I didn't understand the balloon. And he said, oh, they put um, uh, something in the balloon, balloon, sorry, that makes you laugh. And I said, what do they put in the balloon? He said, helium. And I said, what? The regular helium? He said, yes. So what they do is they heal the helium and then they get high. Oh, oh wow. How old are they? It's a new trend. But how old are they? Teenagers. Okay. This is and it's wow. a new trend at their parties. Wow. So you go, you see the balloons. Because you see the balloons and, and the yeah. the depression. Oh, no. And the children are oh, healing it. And it's like, it's like they, they get intoxicated and they, oh, they no. feel, yes. So who is telling them is wrong? As parents, I think we, we have some to, great scientists we, in this country. Yeah. <laughs> Told them As that. parents, we need to do more than just sex education. Mm -hmm. We need to let the children understand that, look, if you take alcohol, it can mess you up. Yeah. Because it can destroy your future, mm -hmm. can destroy your education. I know people that have taken alcohol that couldn't become what they wanted to be. Yeah. You know, their mm -hmm. future has been messed mm -hmm. up. In fact, their current present has been messed up. Their mates are doing well, but unfortunately, they are colleagues. Mm. And so anytime they get a better job, unfortunately, they lose it because of that. They are into drugs. They can't work well because of the drugs. So we need to keep
keep and, telling and, and our guess children what? Mm. most most people who get messed up with alcohol are very very intelligent, intelligent. yes most of them now movie mentioned the uh, the children that relatives would tend to go this is so worrying to me mm -hmm. i mean as young what exactly are you teaching that child that 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 point i mean sending that child to buy the alcohol is a no no Parents, guardians, relatives, we must stop this. Mm -hmm. It's a no no. You want to drink, probably go and sit in the bar and drink yourself. Yes. And some I drink agree. and then they'll leave the bottle there. Why should one of the kids say that? I thought it was malt. Okay, so she thought that the Guinness was malt, was malt mm -hmm. and the other person thought that the um, bear was, was <laughs> apple juice. You know, <laughs> so you put the bottles mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. As if sending them is not enough. Mm. You leave the bottles there for them to. The future is not quite bright when it comes to alcohol in our youth. Mm. This is serious because we are supposed to be a religious country. Yes. You know, well, people say, but the large population are Christians and then we have Muslims. And these two religions that do not really sanction um, um, alcoholism. But I think I Muslims would... do better when it comes to consuming alcohol. Mm. They are very strict on Oh, I don't drink alcohol. I've yeah. seen a lot yeah, of Muslim. Better. That you know, is where I'm coming you know? from. Okay. And so Christians too are many. What are we doing about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our religion frowns on alcoholism. Mm -hmm. And so shame on any of us who <laughs> call us ourselves Christians and then we Oh expose yeah, and then why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> and we expose them to all kinds of oh, yeah, yeah, you know? be frank. Right, right. Christians, I love that. Christians drink. Anybody do. drinks Let's here? I am so you I see don't. I drink water. I don't, personally, personally <laughs> I won't say I frown on alcohol. I won't sit on TV and lie. You look I don't frown on alcohol. Mm. But in everything that you do, you need to be careful. Minimum. It, yeah. You need exactly you need to control yourself. Yes. So if I should take in maybe a, a glass of champagne and um, I know it won't knock me out, it won't affect me, and I'm not taking it on daily basis you know i don't see anything wrong with it because sometimes you go to the hospital and they might tell you you need a, a bit of alcohol in your system but a glass of wine with your food goes down very it's, well it also goes down also. you know the digest food it is yeah right <laughs> not with fufu and banku no it, it, the banku is already <laughs> alcohol <laughs> But do you also know that there, quiet, there, yeah. there, there's a challenge on it? On mm -hmm. Fridays, for instance, I'm told that when the guys, guys, meet at the pubs and stuff, there's a challenge. So they put a number of uh, the bottles on the table. How many can you, you drink? See, if, and if, if they really adults, mess themselves if up. If they are adults, yeah. I can't talk about yeah. it. Or I can't speak mm. to it because they should know better. But if they are young, the youth, mm -hmm. that's where it's the worrying. Yeah. Because most of these youth, fortunately or unfortunately, they are not out on Friday night. They are home. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They're home from school. Not all. Most of them. Most of them. Mm. Yeah. Most of them. Teenagers because most are... parents won't let their teenagers yeah. out on Friday mm -hmm. night. It's rather the working class that you find out, out there. there. They are home. So when do they drink? They drink when they go to school with their peers. They drink when, you know, they go for even their own circle party. Sometimes mm -hmm. in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, you know, yes. my, my friend is having a birthday party. Oh, yes. Mommy drops them off and then they drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the time mommy comes out, they would have drunk some, you know, Coke or, um, sorry, um, any any juice or something. Down, gulp it down their mm. throat, cleanse the, the smell, taking some, you know, gum. Mentos. And they are good. Yeah. You know, and they are doing it. So that's where the problem is. Mm. The Friday night is not really a problem. Because mm. if you step out on Friday night, you meet a lot of working class working people. Working class people. Yes. But the young ones are also coming out now. You see, the thing is, we, we have become so liberal. I mean, back in the day, you wouldn't see a 14-year-old in a nightclub. Mm. But today, hmm. going that's to the nightclub, that's you would see them. That's, that's, what, I'm coming. that's what I'm yes. saying. Shouldn't be below 18, shouldn't right. be allowed to go to a nightclub. But you see, these, some of these young girls, they develop so... Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, the yes. Yeah, but so you see them at the, the clubs in their mini skirts and stuff like that. They are I think that we should bring the ID card system. Mm. Yeah. Because a place like London, if you look a certain way, you know, they just look at you or the way mm. you sound, they'll ask for your ID. Mm -hmm. And you can't walk into the club without the ID. But even London is spoiling now. They want the sexy girls in the club, <laughs> so they will take all the young girls who look hot because that's going to bring the boys. But on the ID aspect, I, I think also black people have very creative ways of, of creating their yeah, own you ID. know what i'm saying i'm even so, thinking about the blue yeah. gate areas <laughs> 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 
the one selling would may not right. be interested in ID. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. he knows that this is Kweku Mensah's daughter. Mm -hmm. And Kweku Mensah comes there once a while. Right. So then he would liberally want to mm -hmm. help out. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is where the challenge should be. Right. And usually, I mean, people who are less in, on cash will go to such places. Mm -hmm. And it's the affluent and the rich that will go to mm -hmm. the pubs Posh, and other yeah. places. So whether Blue Gates or Club, I mean, we should be each other's keeper. Right. Even if you know that this is the daughter of such, refuse to give to the child and t tell the adults to come themselves. But At you least know what, Auntie some Dinah, uh, some of these clubs also actually sweet up the police officers who go on patrol and, mm -hmm. you know, oh, they give them, oh, jipotolo, whatever, mm. oh, so the police, police officers have been bought, <laughs> you know, some, not, some all yeah. mm. not all of them, not all of them, but okay, some so have been. So they to check yeah. Yeah. who are the gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. So they are a part of it, some and of them, not all of them. too, you know, on TV, um, if the movies and things we are showing mm. shows a lot of people drinking alcohol yeah. and smoking, it's easy for our children to pick it up. That's so true. And that yeah. is where it's important that so uh, we advertise. Yes, we people. no, we check the kind of movies we mm. show at what time. Mm. Mm. I love that. And want producers of movies, Ghanaian authentic movies, mm -hmm. to also be very careful the use of alcohol and cigarettes. Right. Because if it is liberal in every scene, the children would think it's something that is normal. Absolutely. In the right. But you True. know, in Nigeria, they banned um, smoking in movies. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So mm. I think we can also follow suit with mm. alcohol. We should. And stuff. We should yeah. then. We That's should. That's a great initiative. Mm. We should. Not, I think we should go for a break. So It's necessary. Mm. <laughs> it's necessary. You're still watching the Sit Sense right here on Joy. Prime TV. We'll be back shortly. And we are back on The Sixth Sense right here on Joy Prime. I'm Movi the Motivator and I'm with Rosalind, Auntie Diana Hopesin and Nadu. And we are discussing all kinds of things that will intrigue you, educate you and entertain you. So we want you to also pay very, very close attention to some of these things that will be said. Anyone that touches you, please go with it. You know, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you already know by now that all my ladies are positive thinkers. Nobody here will give you bad advice. But let's talk about marital rape. Um, I've never been married, but we have married people in, <laughs> in here who are going to tell us some more. But I would it, like it, we to... We're not limiting it to only Oh, no, no. So yeah. Relationship but rape not, to I'm talking about <laughs> the married people here yeah, will I'll give us... Bricks. I'll bring the bricks. No, <laughs> you guys will give us... No, hold on Why a second. Why are you trying to exempt us? No, no, I want to no. get you in there. No, I'm there. <laughs> but I'm saying when it comes to the marital rape, you mm. guys would have something mm -hmm. to talk about. But yes, there's date rape, and that's something that mm. you know is very prevalent in, in Ghana right now. Um, a lot of people have experienced it, but unfortunately, they can't even speak up because, yeah, because they get shamed no, and all no, of that. No, you are supposed mm. to abstain. Mm. Mm. Of course, until You're marriage. Mm. Until marriage, so, you don't No, to, I'm talking mm. about date rape. So some of these date rapes, I don't know whether you guys no, are. No, are relationship privy rape. to that. No, date. Okay, so date. Mm. Okay. you meet someone for the first time, mm -hmm. they take you out, mm. they drug you. Oh, yeah, that's, that's And that's, do you understand what yeah. I mean? So it's not about abstinence. It might be that that young lady is not even prepared to you. have mm -hmm. intercourse. But on that night, that woman will be raped. That is a proper yeah. rape. You, you, you <laughs> know what I'm not saying? Marital rape. That, that, oh, so marital rape is not rape? I would like to hear no. from you, Auntie <laughs> Diana. Marital, marital rape, rape is not is, rape. Is, 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 no, marital rape is a rape, though. But you know, marriage is between two people who have already, I always tell my husband, they've been given the certificate mm -hmm. for all things. And so why... Even for rape? No, <laughs> because rape is considered as domestic violence. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, I mean, there should be love to the extent that you understand your spouse if she's tired, mm -hmm. if she's sick, if she's not in the mood. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have been mean to her, I mean, for like a week, and then you just come and want to jump, it would not work. And so it's important that you don't have your way because I'm the head of the home, I'm the man, and, and it's my right, you know. It is something that both of you should do in love. And so where comes that kind of 
I'm the head, so if I want to have my way and have my way the way I want to have it, that will not help. And that is where the rape comes in. Mm. Because, uh, yes, she's your wife. Yes, you are the head. But you don't just force yourself just because it's your duty. You have to perform your conjugal duties when you have not performed other duties. That will make your spouse ready and loving for you. Okay, so you mentioned that uh, maybe you were angry during the week or something and then he yeah, forces Yeah, for instance, if you have not been that caring, because women, we thrive where there is love. Mm -hmm. If you, you, you raise your voice a bit, even on your, it goes straight to our heart because we are very emotional and we, we have given our everything to you. We've taken your name and everything. And so if something that mutually we should do together, it should be on both terms. It should not just be on one person's term. Okay. And that's where I came from because if from Monday to Friday there has not been good relationship, you've not been nice to the person, you have not been seen around, uh, money true wise has not been zero. Zero. And, um, <laughs> no help. <laughs> Chores. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Zero money means zero. I like happiness. I mean, zero money, and you actually want. <laughs> mm. I mean, hey, oh, <laughs> wow! Hey. So it's a it's a business transaction, man. What is not a business transaction? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not right. only women men to men. Men take your ten percent when you collect your salary. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, you ha it's, everything is business. Come on. And, and it's not only like men um, um, abusing the women, but some, some women also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, coming yeah, yeah. to that. Yeah. I was coming to that. But mm. before we go into that, um, Rosalind, what do you think about you know men who basically are deprived? You know, sexually, they're not getting it. And I, I feel it forces them to yeah, go out of the marriage <laughs> sometimes. You know, if they don't want to force you, they will go get it free with no, you know, squabble with another woman. Why do you think that is that, you know? I think that, why do I think that is? Why that happens yeah. in the marriage? Like you guys, you know, married women mm -hmm. tend to deprive, like Auntie Dinah said, tend to deprive the man because if, there was no money or your, there was a quarrel. I think your wife should or... do that. They just seek help. I mean, there's always um, postmarital counseling, which we hardly engage in. It's very, very important because uh, probably she's harboring something in her. You might have heard her in the past that she hasn't let go, but she hasn't been able to speak about it. And for some relationship, they don't even have the communication aspect. So what happens is that when things happen, we just dust it away or push it under the carpet and pretend like everything is okay but deep down probably the woman is not happy or the man is not happy so you need to find out probe further probably there's something that you've done in the past that she's not happy about i mean it's not supposed to be just you know, sex is supposed to be love making, mm. and when it comes to love making, the two have to have love in, within That's why them. it's quite true. Right. Yes, exactly. But so, let me right. let me make this question, Wobi. Okay. I I did not mean to say that if there's no money or there's no um, understanding there's, yeah, or something, because mm. sometimes good um, relationship, good sex helps to even solve some of these yeah. issues. Uh -huh. So, <clears throat> what makes it to rape is you having your way without forcing her full, forcing right. without having her full consent right. or his full consent right. if it's not find out why mm. and bring her to that okay. place where she, he or she will accept okay. you that is where i was coming okay. from uh -huh. but rosalind um a lot of men tend to say that you know it's us Ghanaian women who have raised rapists because when you're young and you're in a relationship and you want to do it, um, you have to coerce the woman and she'll say, no, no, no. But in the end, she will cave in and give it to you. So some of them think that our no's are, you know, actually yes. uh, a yes. But so, those, those no's are actually different no's. I mean, those no's don't come off as hard no's. They can't, no, that's different. <laughs> that's different from no. Yeah, but no. Yeah, you, you, you know, I'm saying that, right? To the, to the yeah, no, but if you go to the police station, mm -hmm. if you report a mm -hmm. rape case and they, the police will ask you, did she say yes or no? So regardless of no, what my point I'm the tone is, of the no, no me, my, I point, think, my point I'm making is that these men are saying it from the 
you know, from the angle, Experiences angle that they've of had. the some woman. And it's, sometimes it's like they're in a relationship, mm -hmm. okay? And their no doesn't really mean a no, it's a fact. They, I mean, I'm a woman. There are sometimes that yeah, your no doesn't mean really no. You I'm know. sorry, but if I say no, no you that, are that's off. you. That's you. That's you. That's you. <laughs> that's you. No. It's a fact. It's a fact. <laughs> and some you. no's are... No, you better not. Mm. No, so, so like, man, I'm Jojo. I'm Jojo and Tano. No, a good man knows when they know. Yes, they know when they know. When they know, when they know, say yes. No, but I think that when it comes to sex, men are not emotionally intelligent. Do you not understand? But you should because know at that time know he's so no. excited. No, he's just think, waiting to I get think off. They should know when a no is a no, and when a no is a no, you should know. I mean, if I say no and I'm bent, I won't say just one no. You know, when you touch me and I say no, you touch again. And I'll say no. Okay, but do you know that some women also will say no, but they like it because that's the way they enjoy mm, that's the That's what I've told you that. Mm. So, some do bad idea. No, not just that. No, no, no. From the beginning, no, I'm coming. So the no starts with some power. No, no. Then it starts getting down. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? So there are some women who are only turned on when you force them and rape them and pin them down and do all kinds that's of nasty. So I don't know whether yeah, you guys are some women. That's 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 yes. yes. That's 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 that one is the one that them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's let me, let me ask you a question. They call it a Those are exceptional. But in that instance, where the man is also not used to that, isn't the man being forced to also be a part, partake in the raping? This is why counseling comes in. Because it is important that you get help to be normal, to like, there's a way to do things. So if there's an excess, something exceptional about it, you need help to fine tune it because a false balance is always an abomination. Mm -hmm. And so if the person is prone to that, you can decide to have a kind of a game, you know, then you both know that it's a game. It's not like because of that, the woman should insult the man yeah. and then say no to, you know, that Mo is- Movie, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that, that, that the man, do you know the kind of woman that he's married to? Please, Are you can I now ask you this question? Let me be a Ghanaian. Know the person? No. Mm. Let me be a Ghanaian here and ask a, you know, answer your question with, with a question. question. Do you guys, when you go for premarital counseling, does your counselor talk about the act itself? Yes. Do. What do they say? They talk about the act. What do they say? About the act. See, a lot of married people don't even want to reveal what is said in that counseling. It counsel. depends. What does the counselor ask you? Do you like it rough? Do Morning. you like it oh, hard? No. Do, really? Morning. That is what I'm no. talking no. about. No. So no. if you don't know, Morning, look, no. it depends it on the kind of counseling you exactly. use. And the if you person. go to you go to have the church counseling where most of the <laughs> counselors are you don't hear the young, <laughs> they are not professional counselors. They are counselors, but they are not professionals. They they, they, they have their counselors. Yeah, they have their limits. But that's what most For people instance, have in Ghana. Well, that is why I came in that you should seek professional counseling. Okay. Because we have sex therapists yes. who can teach you. Mm -hmm. A lot of, unfortunately, a lot of people, when it comes to sex, and forgive me, men, think they know it, but they don't. Mm. Okay. They think they know it all, but they don't. Because it's an act. You need to learn to know your act. Mm. And you need to know the kind of woman you have and how you can play it well. But if you don't know anything, what you've seen and fantasized, that is it. That's why a lot of marriages, mm. people, women are suffering because the men are not really satisfying them. And they, they feel ashamed to discuss it anywhere. But it is very, very important. So I blame the women, because you guys are not educating your That's husbands shy. to enjoy. Mm. So it's not just, we can't blame just one party here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, would, I would want to. Both male and female. Some people start talking, the man would think they are bad guys. I would want to it's say like, where did that. she learn this from? I would you know? want to say that there are some women who also rape the men. Yes. The thing is, you mentioned the fact that there are women who would uh, starve their husbands mm -hmm. when it comes to sex. Of course, so because the man doesn't do A, B, C, and D, then you would prevent the man from touching you. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's the kind of man who doesn't want to go out there to make love or have sex with any other woman apart from you. The man might be in that kind of mood to make love to you, and as you are being so hard on, 
on, on, on you know on things mm -hmm. definitely that is where the, the forcefulness right. will come so i think that women should also be a little no matter what no, 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 i don't agree with should, you on that they should, I don't agree i'm not finished i'm not finished let her land i'm saying let her land let her land the coin no, is no, too you see when we, we we actually make a statement like oh because you didn't do this that's why the man did this and that's that's how i'm done no i get you but i want to use the sides of the coin okay you give me the other side and let me hear you. Uh -huh. So I'm saying that if that be the case, we don't always have to deny the men. And men in the other side too, if you want something from your woman, then things must also be done right. So it's here nor there. So now, so the now women, but I still, I'm I coming though. If the woman has endured a lot of things and she can definitely not have sex with you. And so if you force it, she will feel abused. I so it's important that you communicate. When, you, when she's putting that front, go close to her. Honey, what is the matter? I'm ready to hear. I know at that time that the man is all hard and dry. He, he, he will feel sick, mm -hmm. you know. But that is why it's important to make sure that your car, there's oil in mm -hmm, the car. Mm -hmm. It's well oiled. That's there's what I'm saying. That do the things you're not you doing. Before parking the engine. My, my, my but guys, if a thief is chasing you, doing before. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> if a thief is chasing you, you cannot wait to warm up the car. <laughs> you better, and, and, you and better you know, drive. And, 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 you know, <laughs> and you know, I have, I have this thing. That why, is what I mean. When they want, when they want to do now. it, <laughs> before they start to do the right thing, why should it be so? No, but you see, me. the point I was making was, you, you know, I don't want us to have a situation of, Oh, if you don't give it to him, then you, you make him force you. I don't want that to happen. Because what happens is that that's how come we have people raping people mm. and the excuses is because of what they were wearing. You have mm. no right no. to do it. Whether she gives it to you or not, you have no right to rape her. It's a fact. If you want it and you are not getting it, speak to her. Speak to her counselor. Communication. Communicate. If it means you reporting her to, you know, somebody that she respects, that the person can speak to her, do it. Do not force her. Not under any condition. And because of that, you don't say you go outside. Don't. Because that would mm. triple oh, your, yeah. your problems. problems. So mm. just speak to your wife and sit down. I mean, why did we marry anyway? Just communicate. And communication does a lot, you know. A lot of people don't know that, but communication does a lot. Some men don't like to listen. That's another problem. Have you wondered why you find a couple, beautiful, 30 years of marriage, 25 years of marriage, then you hear they are, they are no more? They are mm. no more. Because one has hoarded, carried, you yeah. know, time and bomb. She, time and bomb. She, and yes, she and guarded all the dust. Mm -hmm. One day the person just gets up and you can't bring it's them back over. again. Mm -hmm. So it's very important when you find any resisting restrictions from your spouse, find out why. Because that is not a place where no, anybody should say no. Mm. And so if you find some of these coming, it means you need to do more. Find out what is happening. But can I also say it. that, you know, um, Ghanaian women, I've heard a lot of married Ghanaian women who um, not only deprive, but don't even look appealing to their husbands anymore mm. and so it makes it hard even for the man to even want you so sometimes the man is forced just to do it giddy giddy because he <laughs> wants to finish and get oh, off you know <laughs> so I, I feel we should educate mm. if, if you know if, married how, women how, more if, if your wife if it's not attractive to you anymore their salon, stay to the some, salon, buy her clothes. Buy her some nice buy her sexy lingerie, stuff. Yeah. I mean, buy the candles. Buy and it. You know, you, you, so that's why liposuction has it. risen. Eh? You, you I, know, I mean, like, no wonder like a lot I told, of people I told, are getting like I told you, I will but, get liposuction any day the money is ready. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> but but let's, let's talk about this. I mean, we've talked about the marriage side. You guys still failed to tell me what your, you know, Christian counselors tell you about sex. Because I know nobody talks about it. Oh, we, we but, in a, 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 but you haven't said anything. No, no. Is there a you haven't said anything. We are not, we are not saying varied. it. We haven't said anything. anything. See, so it means that nothing goes no, on no. in no. the when counseling. You get, when, you get there, when you get there, your pastor will tell you. I was going to say, you are going to get there. We need you to explain. So they don't even get Get you ready for your husband because they don't even know your husband, the package oh, that you he get has. You have to know your the your package you have. You have to know. Let's go on that. That's why you need to go to a professional <laughs> to handle it well. Well, we want to go on a quick break. Where we have, we come back. We have more to talk about. Do stay with us.
happy you stayed with us. Yes, we have moved to the next and the last um, subject for the day. And it is about dating your best friend's ex. Mm. Um, honestly, uh, when you look at it, it's just a no, no, no. So now I'll ask, under what circumstance can you date your best friend's ex? Chidu, <clears throat> who will start? Nah. No. <laughs> I'm nah. sorry, your name I'm, was I'm, mentioned. Out of camera, <laughs> please. Nah. Please, I'm sleeping. Can you allow me? <laughs> okay, then I'll come to my, uh, my left. <laughs> okay, so, well, if you ask me, mm. I mean, I think society has made it seem as though you can't date your best friend's ex. Uh, if, you know, it's your sister's ex, really, the then way I have a the problem. To an if it's your you. brother's ex, then I have a problem. If it's a relative's ex, I have a problem. But if it's a friend's ex, I, I think that um, it's... But maybe that's the person you rape. Mm. And that's who the person genuinely love. I've come to realize that you can't force people to love you. Mm. Um, people go into relationships with people, they break off and they end up with somebody else and we end up hating that person for mm. no reason. What did a person do? The person's mistake was because somebody else loved her or loved him. I think that's something we need to look into. So if this is my best friend's ex, my best friend is not my brother. No, my sister. Not your relative. No, so, my relative. Rosalind, you're talking about us looking at what's caused that break. And I... Me, I don't look at the break. It is, if it's, the love is coming, the love <laughs> but, is But coming. I think it's a good point because if the break was not... Maybe um, they were of different blood groups, so they had to break up. What if the love if, is dead? The love was not there and he loves me or she loves me. Mm. Maybe I'm the one that he loves or love, she loves. I mean, why stop it? Why stop love? Now, if, love is a beautiful thing. if you live with your friend, your friend is very close to you, and this has happened. I mean, my there are no more. My friend can't marry me. Oh, okay. My friend can't marry me. Mm. No, and I'm not going mm. to stop what God has planned. Mm. Maybe that's who God has given to me. Mm. The father of my children. Mm. My husband, who will your make rib, me happy. Your better half. My better half, who will make me happy for the rest of my life. So because of my friend, I should stop that. No, I'm not going to stop that one. It won't happen. What about you? Oh, you Okay, all right. Um, but we're best friends like Rosalind. Who needs enemies? <laughs> oh, that's your boy! <laughs> no, on a serious note, no. Um, I think the level of friendship counts. Mm. I mean, there are some friends who mm. turn mm. to become like closer. your blood. They yeah. do things unimaginable mm. that your own family your own not. blood would never do for you. Mm. So for me, mm -hmm. if I call someone my best friend, it means that that person has my back. Mm. And for someone like that, they will not hurt me in that way because that friendship would be truncated immediately. There is no way you guys are going to be happy. You know, you have your wedding and have your best friend as your bridesmaid or best man. What, what, what is that? It's just not right. I, unless you are dying of, uh, you know, uh, like terminally ill, but you know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, so I terminally can. ill, they hope you home. No, maybe <laughs> it is my wish that I would rather my husband ends up with my best friend. But aside that, I've given the blessing, but you have met you. I come from a boy. Hey, no, but girl. you broke up before, man, for which? No, but still. I've uh, met you. No. Because I can't tell me that. No, which best friend would say, oh, your, go ahead. Your best friend's ex. Your best friend's ex. ex. Yeah, but it's still going. Uh, don't, how, don't you think? How do I? How did, how did I? How did I go behind you? I didn't cheat. That is a friendship a code. We, we, I'm we, sorry. Don't you have a code when it comes to you and your what? girlfriends? Because are okay. you introducing your friends to your husband? Because they might have a dip. You know, so it, when it, you're it, done with okay, them. So in it your your point is when where the friendship, the kind of friendship you have with that yes. friend is deep. Deeper than and if blood. It is deep. Deeper that, than blood. You know, that it said happen. best friend. My your definition best, of yeah, a best, best friend. friend. You know, the topic here is, is ex. Best There's friend. There's a difference between dating your best friend's boyfriend and dating best friend's ex. ex. That is why ex, I still. Ex. Do you know what? I'm sorry, but most exes mm -hmm. don't end amicably. Do you understand? Mm. Most um, times, if, you, if are you're you not married. Are you to your ex? That's why I was mm. bringing a point in. For instance, if it's about... 
um, um, what do you call it, blood types, mm -hmm. and they both understand. Even that there will be some bitterness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. There is element. If, if there. there is some kind of ailment, you know, in, in the family and you can see traces and the person is ready that this one is saying he can handle it. But then the other person thinks I can handle it, you know. But then if the break is one that was a real painful break, that brings some kinds of um, knocks. Auntie let's Dinah, hear from, let's, will, let's hear from will, will you be okay with your best friend dating your ex-husband? It is not something that should be thought about. <laughs> Easily, <laughs> because My point. because case closed. <laughs> because if the fr unless the friend is if, even if the friend is in another country, mm. you will still get together. Mm. Do you go and hide yeah. your husband somewhere? <gasps> It depends on the level of friendship, like you were saying too. But a best friend is a best friend, isn't it? Is there levels of best friends too? Because uh, be I think a best, a, best a, best friend friend a best friend is a best friend. The best friend, friend becomes like part See, of the family. not just acquaintance. You can go so. to the yeah. Uh, when you say your best, best friend, friend, then you have reached the level that that is where you cool off when you are too oh tired. God. I mean, she's a bit part of the family. Yes. And uh, marriage is sad that. Then if when you decide, it means you are losing that friend. Yes. And then you should be ready for that. Let's hear from uh, Na. I'm sure now you can say something. <laughs> ah, no, she's suggesting that, oh, you see. Uh -huh. hmm. Hmm. Dating your best, best friend's friend. ex. Hmm. This is my opinion. I don't think I can do it. Hmm. There are lots of men in the world. And if God has destined you to be with your best friend's ex. Why didn't you meet your best friend's ex first? They cross you. In the first place. They cross you. Because I they think that you. the best friend, it means that we've come a long way. Mm. Did you hear it? What did she yeah. say? She crossed you. I'm, I'm not even listening to her at this moment. <laughs> no, at this point, I'm not no, listening no. to her at this moment. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Rosalind, I'm not listening. Uh, you OK? Wow. But so mm -hmm. it, you it's finished. a no-no for me. This mm. is my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can handle it. Because yeah, ex, eh, anything can also happen. After me now being with my best friend's ex, anything can spark between them at Again. any point mm. in time. Mm. Would I be hurt? I should not. How did my friend also, what was the feeling like when I now went, you know, with the, the friend? I think it's the ex. ex Maybe Whatever they were doing it whilst ex. you were in a relationship. It's a no no. It's a no no for me. There are there are lots of guys there and doing the right thing, definitely you there can are lot of guys. Either person Listen. doesn't treat you well. This one is the Get, one treating the you. The men well. are there are lots of guys. No, there are lots of Actually, guys. Let this one go. You get your hmm. own sweetheart. You understand me? There are not Please. a lot of men, actually. I must clarify that. There are not really? a lot of men. And man and also say men, so there are not a lot of men. If you get one who treats you well, respects you, and would love you... But you're and, your best and, friend's ex. And on our journey. Or best well, friend, no, no, hasn't no, she been so good to you oh, before? What is good? Which one <laughs> did is you, good? Did you think about the times you've had? What times? I'm scared of friends like this because he, she was probably <laughs> feeling my, my, my boyfriend at the time. Can I, can I give her? Oh, you give it. Can I do that? No, like, are you drinking you beer said. or apple? <laughs> are you drinking beer or apple? <laughs> now, there are, every rule, there are exceptions. So on the face value, it's a no-no. Mm -hmm. But there are some exceptional cases where, depending on the situation, one can assess and check it out um so that's why i would say that it would depend on the very <clears throat> what the issue is all of the case is there could be someone who was so bad and has changed mm -hmm. but because the time they they had to separate but well, the guy was really bad so this one has moved on now the person is totally changed and would not want to go far away but even that there will be the need for a lot of work to be done, you know. And so to save yourself from all this lot of work, if especially your friends are not cooperating and stuff like that, then you better decide where you want to stay. You either lose your friends or you are able to gain them with time mm. or 
like Nai is saying, just you know the beauty of along the line, he save breaks yourself. up with you too. The beautiful thing about along the line, yourself. he marries you. The beautiful thing about life is that you mm. know when we are growing up, we there are people that we. I always say this: I have categories of friends, mm. those that come into your life for a short period mm -hmm. and they vanish. Those that come into your life for a long period. And um, you know they get they, but they are distance friend, but they are there for a long period. Mm -hmm. Those that come into your life and they are there forever. Yeah. Okay. Along the way, you lose some, you gain some. One thing again, I've realized in this world uh, or in life is that everywhere you go, God gives you somebody else. I've seen that. You lose some friends every step mm -hmm. of the way. So as movie, probably you get um, you know promoted in your work you might lose some friends without realizing and you get new friends. No, this and, has nothing to do with the workplace, though. And if you have nothing to do with the workplace, who loves I'm you? I'm sorry. You but might, you this really break a go. friendship code like that. Even if it's not, like that. Like that. Code if it's not, not that way. Ex so you're, you're seeing me your husband. Me, don't be a scale of friends. Me, I'm not doing any Rosaline. friendship code. What is code? Which one is code? Rosalind, you have a best friend, yeah? Me, I don't have best friends. Okay, no wonder. That's why she can do that. But I'm saying if you have a best friend. I have friends. And you, friend. you talked about your relationship to that best friend. Do you understand? Maybe that best friend even knows the things that you that did wrong on. in that relationship and will use that against you to that, you know, man. So how, how do you trust somebody can, like can, that? Can we, can and we? then you, you will re be remember, like reminded, okay? Constantly, when you see them together, even on social media or whatever, about the pain that you went through and you confided in that friend. Find yourself you don't do man. that. Find you do not. Man. Just find yourself another do man. Not that didn't work. Date uh, your best friend's ex. Well. It's a somebody no go Somebody else will area. treat you better. It's a no Just go Just find area. yourself somebody Have else. you taken someone's... <laughs> capacity to do <laughs> anything handle anything mm -mm. then maybe you should go on Roseland's side but <sighs> if you don't have the capacity and i don't know the feeling it's not it, it's, it's not really what feeling are you people no talking no. about it's what no feeling no. oh what the feeling? memories Mem which memory because have you also if, 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 she's, have you ever thought, if she's your best friend have you ever thought of the fact that it means they can, maybe um, anything can happen <clears throat> once again and they can come back no. Yeah, that Have you ever happen. thought that they can do things behind you? Why do you, do you actually go back to your exes? Ex, to be ex, exes are expired goods. I mean, why go back? To your them? best friend's ex is your ex too. How? How is that? that? Ex? Jerry Roth. How has the best friend's ex? Jerry Crow. No, you my, will my see goodness. them. You <laughs> see <laughs> them. <laughs> you know, they are actually. Them. Them. <laughs> oh, one giant. That's why my daddy Come loves on, you. My daddy loves you. My daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> so we may we lose that no, friend. You are bound to lose that friend. Yeah. But you are one. not bound to lose your husband if you keep. If the man is loving you and keeping you well, what? Which one is your own? Can you okay, just so let? You, so can you just let the, that person go? Now you are looking for someone else. Where are they? The men are not there. Where are you going to find them? They are there. Where? Where did you find your husband? Yeah. Rosalind will take your husband. Where did you find your husband, Rosalind? Rosalind will take your husband. Bible said, search, 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 you find. <laughs> go looking. Wow. You know, you know what we got? <laughs> leave, leave that Let's person alone. Leave, leave, your best ex. leave your best friend's ex. Leave your best. Leave your best friend's ex. Go that, looking. Is that ex? Not your your friend. Friend. Look, he's ex. Don't bother yourself. He's an ex. Get him. Go get him. Now, <laughs> the, the issue is, if you get him, mm. there are things you are going to really lose mm -hmm. and fight for, mm -hmm. which you should be ready for. That is, if you really want to go for mm. that ex. Because, one, yes, you will lose your friend. Two, this is somebody you are now going to marry. Mm. Mm. Relationships don't all mm. end in marriage, mm. though. He might not even marry mm. you. You know, he might you marry still, you. Mm. you still will need your friends at, even some, such, things you don't know about at the some time. Mm. You some point friends. in time. And so it is important if you really think you have to go in, you really need time with your best friend. Even if you think you want to lose that friendship, you need time with that best friend of yours to break properly. Otherwise, you will carry that load into the marriage and you may end up messing up the whole thing. Because that best friend is like a part of you. 
you saw how they that started. Family. You saw all that was happening yeah. in that marriage. Yeah. You, you even helped. Yeah. For all, you told him, Jano. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and now... That's what I was saying. Yeah. You know, so it is very... This is not something that you can just say, hey, this is marriage, and it's no. You don't tread it and, like and that. And Auntie Diana, you know yes. what? There are some things I, I, that... Can, can I go on the streets after, after your, okay, your submission? Sure, okay, sure, sure. There are some things you would not know about your best friend's ex. But when you get in there, before you begin to understand why the relationship... Do we always know what to ask spouses or our boyfriends what have? We get in there before we get to what know What makes them. you My think that you can stay in there? Ah, why did other people stay? We'll go on the streets and hear what others have to say about this particular one. The question here is, will you date your best friend's ex? Will you? Or would you? Which one? <laughs> Let's ask. Oh, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs>
dating your <laughs> I'm sorry about <laughs> dating your your best friend's ex. Um, it comes with uh, baggages. It comes with issues. You can't stay in there peacefully. Trust me. Because your best friend also definitely, no matter what happened, which I'm very sure that you were aware of, your friend told you of the issue that happened before the breakup. There are lots of guys there, there are lots of women there. Just let them go and God will give you some, someone, I mean your rib of your ribs. And then uh, the, the flesh of your flesh, <laughs> the flesh of your flesh. So just let the person go, all right, and date someone else. You'll be happy there. Hmm. Darling movie. Okay, so let me talk about um, relationship date, uh, rape, rape or, you know, date rape, marital rape. Um, I think that sometimes there's got to be understanding and effective communication. People are communicating, but not effectively. Talk. Talk about your past. What did you go through as a child that has made you want to coil when it comes to have, you know, making love? Some people have gone through so much, they are traumatized. You might see them normal, but behind closed doors, they are battling with all kinds of demons. So if you don't talk about it and be on the same page as a couple, you're always going to cross wires. So make sure that sexually you're compatible, because if you're not, there's got to be fights every single time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you're going on a date, please be careful. I mean, these men these days are doing all kinds of things just to get between a lady's legs and it's not nice. Women also do it, you know, women rape men. I have a video here which I'll give to the producer to play oh, during wow. the show. Um, <clears throat> forcing and something, you, your flesh is now my flesh. You belong to me. I paid your bride price and all kinds of things. But no, when it comes to sex, it's got to be consensual. And I also think that women, Please, oh yeah, won't go go won't hunk a crack. Now you're stiff with the raw baza. A breast, so what? Sometimes it's not even about you doing it all. It's just you laying there and receiving. So what is your own? You are not giving. Just receive to why a problem. Go go on home. Hey, and give it to your husband so they don't have to go out. Because they will if you Moby, deprive them. The multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> of course, our guest for today, Diana Hobson. Yes, and I'll talk about alcoholism amongst the youth. I would say that alcohol or wine has its rightful use. And so it has its rightful use and its rightful purpose. Like we all have fire in our home. If you take the coal red coal and drop it in your on your mattress it will burn your house will be on fire and so we need to know the right use of it and parents let's be responsible here because what we show our people model after us are we using drink the right way it should be used when we do that it will help i will also call on our producers and directors in terms of movie and stuff like that let's be responsible when it comes to the use of these substances and let's make sure that we are creating a society that would have a better tomorrow. Thank you so much. And of course, like she has said, we need to create a society that will give us a better tomorrow. And uh, the opinions have been great, I must say. Um, but in a nutshell, make sure you train your children well. Make sure you give in, like Movi said. Uh, don't force it. Please try and seek counseling if needed. And also, for those who want to date your best friend's ex, is in your hands. Hey, don't do it because you know you 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 want to snatch. I mean, do you? <laughs> <laughs> but then she you change your mind. mind. That's, That's a good one. You change your mind. mind. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> No, week. before we go, we uh, okay, okay, we have to. Yes, yeah, she has to say her mother's day. Mother's, mother's no, Can I hire mother. a lawyer and, and play it? Play a little bit, oh, a little bit, a little bit. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be playing a little bit about Diana's uh, latest, mm -hmm. which she did it for her mama. Yeah. Come on.
Padio de Cayo, Padio de Cayo, Padio de Cayo, de Cati de Cayo, Padio de Cayo, Padio de Cayo, Padio de Cayo, de Cati de Cayo, Tini Tini de Cayo, Tini Tini de Cayo, Tini Tini de Cayo, de Cati de Cayo. Thank you very much for watching on that Tinny Tinny note. <laughs> we'll see you next week. It's been the sixth sense from me, Nadu Lenu, from Movi, from Roslyn Fairley, and Diana Hobson. See you next week. We love you.